Cam Newton got jumped. Running backs are finally hitting the market. Andy Reid is nowhere near retirement, apparently. And much more news to be talked about in what is kind of like a bonus news roundup for the week. A lot more things broke to upload my last video. And if you haven't seen my last video, check it out right after this one. And I figured since I already had the microphones out and the camera set up that I would get those to you as well. So I'm going to talk about all the breaking news and a lot more is going to be coming here in the future weeks as free agency gets closer and closer to opening. Help me do what I do and I'll keep you up with all 32 teams in the league while you do what you do. I'm an NFL content creator here on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all of the platforms and I follow the NFL day to day and do nothing else. So if you're an NFL fan, you'll love my channel. Please subscribe to the channel. Help us get one step closer to reaching 10,000 subscribers here on YouTube and just show some support by liking the video real quick so that the algorithm knows that NFL fans like my videos. Andy Reid is in fact not retiring. Screw us Chargers fans, I guess. Andy's instead signing a record-breaking extension with the Chiefs. Yay! <sighs> Haven't you done enough, Andy? And then Kirk Cousins' recovery is coming along nicely. Some videos were released of Kirk throwing the ball on some tennis courts, and he looks sharp. I'm not gonna lie. This is great to see, man. We're all rooting for Kirk Road Chains to have a great bounce back year and become comeback player of the year. You like that? You like that? But for which team will it be? Do you want your favorite team to sign Kirk Cousins? I think that he will play for the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Atlanta Falcons, or the Minnesota Vikings. Although I may be in denial because the Las Vegas Raiders are currently the odds on favorite team to land Captain Kirk. This is bullshit. I hate all the news breaking today, including this one. Cam Newton got jump no i'm not kidding at a seven on seven event that cam i think was hosting was trying to break up a fight that actually broke out and got sucker punched in the face now kudos to cam cam handled this with such class he got sucker punched and still didn't start beating the fuck out of everyone around him. I don't think people realize who they're dealing with when they deal with them. I know Cam Newton might not have any MMA training. This is just a random guy on the street. You are still sucker punching and challenging an elite of elite six foot five athlete. Cam took that shit on the chin and was laughing at him as he was tackling him to the ground. It was like training camp with Josh Norman all over again. No, but really, this could have gotten ugly really fast. Thankfully, Cam got out of there safe, and thankfully, Cam defended himself without putting himself at risk to a lawsuit. And then the biggest news that broke this morning is all the running backs' fate has been sealed. Well, not really sealed, but they are all hitting free agency. Tony Pollard will not be getting franchise tagged by the Dallas Cowboys. But Jacobs is not expected to be franchise tagged next offseason either. Saquon Barkley and the New York Giants want to work out a long-term deal, but all reports are stating that Saquon Barkley is probably going to hit the market. My boy Austin Eckler got permission from the Chargers to seek a trade last offseason. Now the Chargers are going to let Austin Eckler hit free agency. They will not be tagging Eckler and see what the price tag is on him again this year. I assume if no one was interested last year after his career worst season, and a year older, most injury filled season, probably not gonna get too many offers again this off. So there are chances that the Chargers could come to Austin Eckler late in free agency if he's still available and try and negotiate a contract that they're comfortable with bringing him back to the team on. And Austin Eckler himself has said that he wants to remain a Charger if he could pick. All right, I think that's actually all of the news for today. Thanks for tuning in to another upload. Told y'all I'm coming more regularly with the YouTube content, so please, one last reminder, make sure you're subscribed, make sure notifications are turned on, and make sure that this video is liked. It helps out a ton in getting it out to more NFL fans. Will we finally see running backs get paid this offseason? I guess sooner rather than later. The ball won't lie. Bill Flames, I'm with Mike on the mic. Yep. What's up, the brand new one time for one your time mind? Time. He getting fail warning. Now it's time to smack him in the mouth with that one sports talk from the town. Sweet chin music to your favorite sportscaster.